Hey everybody, so I am back today with another product review, and this one is another product review by Gripping Beast, and it's for Saga, and it's the Civilians, Peasants, and Townsfolk pack. So I just recently did a pack of these for the, the animal um, pack that they have, and uh, so I'm not going to really go into, like, Gripping Beast and the packaging and, you know, like what it was like as a buying experience at all. Um, I, I will encourage you if you're interested in the animal pack or hearing a little bit more about that kind of stuff, um, I'll try to put a link there with the picture of the last video and you can click on that at one point if you like. And I'll also have it in the description. Now, here we go. So we do get a lot of nice figures with this pack. Um, I'll show a picture here because mine are unpainted and so you can get an impression of what you're getting. Now, it's interesting because um, the way they list these out, they say there are four shepherds and four women. So I'm assuming that reading across it'd be four shepherds and four women. But I really believe these are the shepherds, not only because of the shepherd pole that um, they have here, but also they're dressed in, in furs. So I, I, I would have thought that those were the shepherds. Maybe they're supposed to be the peasants, um, but I would have thought these were the peasants, the four peasants, um, rather than the shepherds. Interesting what you guys think, but either way, they look actually really cool. And then there's five women models as well. One of them's carrying a kid here. Very dynamic stuff. They all kind of look a little bit different. I think that they're really nice individualized models. You get four children. One's running, kind of sitting on the ground staring off into space, one's carrying a bag, one could be staring down somebody, it looks like almost. Um, and then you get four traders, which I think um, really look cool, because they're like hauling bags and they look like um, they're carrying swords and have helmets and gathering stuff, like they're busy working, but also like working people, you know, and just very cool. Um, so 21 foot figures in all. And um, I really think there's a lot of value in this set and utility because like I mentioned in the last one there's scenarios where you can do things in this and you know these could definitely be considered you know um, for the sort of uh, baggage caravan scenario or escort I believe is the official name um, things like this or are, are, would seem to be perfect um, and so yeah so what I'll do next is I will quickly unbox this and I will show you what's inside So 21 packs and indeed you get 21 bases. So that is great. And I am just randomly grabbing stuff here now. So it looks as if what I have first, or what I ended off with, and that's the traders, I believe. So it seems as if these guys come with a couple of barrels, which is really cool. I didn't actually expect that. Um, maybe it's one barrel. Yeah, it looks to be one barrel, um, but there is some stuff on their bases as well. So you do get an extra barrel you can put on a base of one of them. Um, and then it might be what this guy is supposed to be leaning on because he's kind of leaning a bit. And the way they had him in the picture, if I remember correct, he's probably supposed to be on that barrel because when you look here, that's him. It looks like he's sitting on something. So they give you a barrel that he can sit on, which is kind of cool. I actually like that. Um, this guy seems to be hauling a sack. Very nice looking miniature. These look very much like their character models. I think they're um, perhaps done more recently because um, I really do like some of their recent stuff and character models. Adjust my light a bit here. I'm just going to zoom in just to get under this light. So then we have this guy here also hauling a big heavy sack. Makes a lot of sense as a trader. Trader as opposed to traitor. Um, and then we have this guy who he seems really busy at work, like you could have him on a ship like hauling these. It's like he's ready to like hand these off to somebody or take them off of a ship onto something. But he's definitely moving his 
moving that stuff around. Really, they look good though, actually. I think they look like nice miniatures. So, next, I'll just grab these little, the little kids. So, definitely smaller. Uh, proportioned is smaller. He was the one that looks like he was holding a bag. Looks like a nice sculpt. Then, this one's just sort of on his knee. Like he's sort of playing on the ground. I'd have to say that I don't know that I've ever painted up kids in miniature gaming. So that's actually kind of, never really thought about it, but even in my Musk and Tomahawk civilians and other civilians, I don't think I ever did children. He looks like he's a bit of a troublemaker. Like, he's done something wrong, you can just tell. Okay. And this one's running. He may be the one that's actually getting ready to tell. That might be a she too, I'm not sure. No. It could be. Cause it... Possibly. Okay, so next, I have what I believe are the peasants and not the shepherds. And I'm basing that both on the tools they chose to give them as well as the, um, the actual clothing itself being more furs and stuff in the other one. So, shepherds, they do come with a tool sprue, basically a bunch of staffs and then one, or I should say uh, peasants, and this sort of pitchfork. I don't know that it's a pitchfork, because it's not three-pronged, but it's like a fork. And, got this guy. Nice facial features, um, I think that looks good. Got another one here. Very similar, but definitely a different pose. This one is really similar to the first one, but it's actually a different miniature, I could tell. I'm putting them next to each other just now. These guys are all very similar in dress. Not as much variety, but definitely different poses and they, they are indeed different. He's got a bit of a beard or a mustache where the others didn't. Okay. Let's switch it up a bit here and before going to the shepherds, I'll show the women. And these, if I remember correct, were all fairly individualized. So we got one. This is the one holding the child. She's sort of um, maybe getting ready to run or doing something. She's kind of either wiping her hands on an apron or lifting um, her clothing as she's moving because she's got a very long dress here. As you can see, maybe not wanting to get it muddy or 
I'm not sure. Something like that. This is the one that's on the cover of the box. So it's sort of the symbol of the set. All wearing very long kind of outfits. I'm assuming fitting for the time. I have to say I really like the women models in this set. Um, what I really like too is that I suppose it goes with that saying is for historical miniatures, although you never know, but sometimes they can just be way too over the top and um, not clothed as much and just various things. And these are really nice. I mean, I, I think they're going to really fit in like on being outside the homesteads and stuff. Um, they're really good. I actually would have to say that so far it may be that it's the traders and the women that I like the best because I like the kids too because they're kind of unique but if I had to really put them up next to these or the traders I'd have to say the traders and the women I like the most so far even though I like all of them and I may end up liking the peasants quite a bit after I'm done painting them in different colors because I quite liked them painted on the back of the box just the style of the outfit with the hoods and stuff I thought it was really very cool um, so I have a bunch. Uh, um, I did end up contacting them because I didn't get the shepherd sprue. I ended up getting two peasant sprues and one of them had this sort of metal farm implement on it that I can use for the peasants. Um, but I got a bunch of these um, which are like the sort of shepherd hooks. Um, I'll probably end up mixing up with staffs and those hooks and various things for the shepherds. Well, let's take a look at them. It's nothing like seeing them up close to determine which ones you kind of think you like. Um, so we've got this guy. These do seem to all be fairly different. Now he's definitely got like fur, fur cape. Hmm, looks nice. Very different than the other ones. He's not wearing like the hooded outfit that the peasants wear. This one seems to be like a younger one, but not a child. So like maybe an adolescent to young man, which I think is awesome because you're getting different ages. These are civilians after all. So it's looking like a variety of people. And he's also got like the fur over him. Quite like that one actually. Got this guy and he could be like the head shepherd or something. I don't know because he's he's the tallest and he's got like this really nice hat with a fur brim and the fur cap. Looks really nice. Big beard. Very cool. And then lastly, this guy, he looks a little different than the others. Um, all right, there we go, focusing. He's sort of kneeling He's on the ground, but he's he's got a big beard, but he's got a kind of a a big cloak, kind of close to in between, sort of what the women wear and also the the peasants wear. It's like sort of a heavy cloak with a big hood compared to the peasants, perhaps from being because he's out in the weather quite a bit, being a shepherd. I like that one actually. I quite like that one too. I'd have to say, out of the shepherds, I really quite like the young man and this cloaked guy quite a bit. I like all of them, but I really quite like those. It's very cool. Well, quick review. Um, as I said in the other video, I haven't seen really anybody do reviews on these boxes, and I think they're really, really useful. And um, I'd really been wanting to get these for a while, and when I did look for them, I couldn't find them anywhere on YouTube. And so there you go. That's the review of the Gripping Beast. Um, peasants and town folk. <laughs>